Hi, what you just saw is not a doomsday machine. This is an alarm clock which tears my money to pieces when I oversleep. How did I make that? I'm about to tell you. The shredder itself consists of two main parts. This, a banknote clamp and pull mechanism and the cutter. I use shaving blades. I'm a big boy, so I have this at hand. When creating a 3D model, I obviously used the banknote size for reference. And it turned out, exactly certain blades were necessary. No superstition, pure math. I put the blades in a frame, they cut the paper by moving up and down. To achieve that, I make a simple crank rod mechanism, like a crankshaft in a car. Here's axis 1, axis 2, here's what a plastic connecting rod looks like. It is powered by an electric motor, but we can test it with an electric screwdriver. I have four axles in total, the blue ones over there. Three of them pull the banknote, and the force, on the outside, pushes the paper noodles out. Each axle consists of 3mm pins with silicon hose pipes with inner diameter of 3mm and BA rings. Sides of the shredder chassis are made of acrylic resin. It would be set to start cutting real banknote at once, so I tested the machine with a piece of synthetic foam. The shredder is jumping all over the place, like it's laughing at me. Maybe I should have set the blades at an angle. It would make the process of cutting easier. Also, maybe I have removed a couple of blades. But it would also remove the whole thing of the paper noodles. The mechanics aren't working yet. I'll try my best with electronics. I have these 7 segments that will display the countdown. Those require 12 volts, so I can't control them directly through Arduino. I will use shift registers for them. I use NFED model. Here goes positive, here goes negative. This chip is called a shift register. It directs the current to one of eight outputs. Here they are, blue ones. This way I can direct the current to any segments of seven segments. I have four of them, so I daisy chain four models like railway cars. I'll connect them like this. Arduino runs all the indicators through NFET. In order for them to stay in place and be easily installed, I soldered them onto a big development board. The board also hosts current limiting resistors. I connect all of it to the model with wires. I prepare the cables, insert them into the outputs and tighten it all up. The clock function on a quad display runs directly via Arduino. So let's get back to mechanics. First of all, I swapped out the razor blades for these cutters from a small portable shredder. There was a problem with the pulling mechanism. Axles of soft metal could be easily bent, so I replaced them with the ones of 3mm steel. I also changed the number of axles. Why in the world would I need 4? I'll go with 3. So the machine becomes 15% bigger because of the new cutting axis. The pulling mechanism and the shredder have individual electric motors now. Electric screwdriver are for amateurs. I also simplified the mechanical aspect. No need for the crank rod mechanism anymore. Because I discarded the frame with the razor blades. So we need yet another part to help the paper to come out. I got this cut out for me. They're squeezed between the axes so the paper is pushed against the plastic and guided right out. Also, I had a giant Edison bulb. I patented it with a special glass paint, so it will blink with the red light of alarm. When assembling, I used an ordinary ceramic lamp circuit, but inserted it in an acrylic resign frame so that it would stay in place. The lamp is 220 volts, so I control it via relay that I put over there, further away from other electronics. Up on top of the assembly there is a big button, big enough I wouldn't miss being half asleep. It dismisses the alarm and stops the countdown, thus saving the banknote, if I manage to press it in time. A speaker is on the back, a common 3 watts I took from the old computer speakers. The electronics are running via Iskro Mega. I also inserted a real-time clock that prefers the data even with power off. There is a battery inside it. The motor turns on with the relay. There are three capacitive buttons on the side for setting up the alarm. The clock on the upper part, the countdown on the lower. I don't have to be cruel, so I set the countdown for 15 seconds. If I don't get up, my bad. <laughs> 